what's good everybody welcome back to my channel so i feel hella weird right now because i've not been sitting in front of a camera and talking in a really long time so i kind of feel kind of awkward but nonetheless i decided to do a spring get ready with me also um this is pretty much the look that i wore for my boyfriend's birthday a lot of you guys really like the look on snapchat i got like so many screenshots on that one pic so i'm like let's recreate this look Makeup is pretty simple, but this is it right here. You know me, I'm simple. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. And if you guys are not following me on my vlog channel, definitely go follow me on there because I've been updating everybody on there. That's where I'd be if I'm not over here. So I will leave that link in the description box and it'll also pop up on the screen. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I love you guys so much. Thanks for sticking with me. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Two. Hey guys, so I'm starting off with a clean face and I went in with my True Serum and my moisturizer by Owen Henriksen And then I'm just moisturizing my lips with this lip balm here and to prime my face I'm using the photo finish primer by Smashbox, which I have been loving. I, that's the only primer I use and moving on to my eyebrows This is the ColourPop Cosmetics brow pencil I think in dark brown and I'm just filling in my eyebrows and all the sparse areas my eyebrows are real jacked up right now, so I'm working with what I got. So to cover the dark spots of my face, I am color correcting with this orange color corrector by Makeup Forever, just getting under my eyes and around my mouth. For foundation, I am using the NYX Total Control Foundation. This is in the color Mocha. As you can see, it's a little bit dark for my face, but I've been loving this foundation for the summer. It's absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to dab that in with my beauty blender. This is a wet beauty blender. And you can see it's kind of red and a little bit dark, but it's going to all blend in and work together. You'll see. So I'm actually going to be priming my eyes and cleaning up my brows just so they can look a little bit better. And can you believe it, guys? I'm actually going to be wearing some eyeshadow. Woo! So I'm actually going to be using the Master Palette by Mario by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And for my crease, I'm going to go in with the color Isabel. It's kind of like this brown brick orangey type of color. I don't know. I can't explain it. But I'm going to use that as my transition color. And as you can see, I'm kind of barely putting anything on because I'm just so afraid of eyeshadow sometimes. So, yeah. And then I'm going in with this darker brown and just trying to, you know, define my crease a little bit more. Just working that in just a tad just a tad and that color is called violetta then i'm mixing kim and muse together it's like you know some shimmer color and, and i'm just putting that on my lid for my brow bone i'm going to use hollywood it's just this nice champagne color and then i'm just going to go in with a little bit of the kim and muse under my eyes so moving on to concealing, I am using the NARS concealer in Caramel and Armande and I just like mixing the two because it creates the perfect color for me. So I'm just going to get under my eyes, my lips, my nose, my chin, all that good stuff. And then I'm going to go in with my damp beauty blender and just blend that all in. And I also like to use the part where I dabbed in my foundation to blend everything out so it doesn't have any harsh lines or anything like that. So as you can see here, I'm just dabbing so it just blends seamlessly. So for my contour, I'm also using the NYX Total Control Foundation. I think this is in the color Coca. I could be totally wrong, but it's just a lot darker than my skin color. And I'm just going to dab that into my face with my Beauty Blender and just cut those cheeks, girl. And then I'm using the Tartiste um, palette. This is the Makeup Shayla collaboration. I'm using the darkest color to just set my contour. And I absolutely love this shade for contouring. And I'm just getting my forehead and all those areas that I need to get. So now I'm going in with the Laura Mercier powder. And I just like to use a little bit of this. And I just like to like actually pack it into my skin. Um, I don't like setting my face with this because it does leave like a really powdery white look, which I'm not a fan of. And then I'm going to go in with my MAC powder. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. And I'm just going to press that into my face as well and wipe away the rest of the powder. And I feel like this just makes everything more seamless and blends everything all in. 
Now I'm going with my all time favorite blush. This is Raisin by MAC. As you can see, it's jacked up, but I'm just getting the apples on my cheeks and bringing it into my contour. So I'm using the Stila Liquid Eye Pencil or Eyeliner for my wing and I'm kind of making it heavy towards the end and just making it skinny towards the center. That's my go-to wing eyeliner look. And then to set it all, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray which is my favorite. I love this stuff so I'm just going to spray, 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 spray and then just fan it in and make sure it dries properly. So for my highlight, I'm using the Artist Couture collaboration with Jackie Ina in the color Le Bronze or in the shade Le Bronze. I absolutely love this, but a little goes a long way. Like, look at this. I literally thought I messed up here, but I just really have to blend it in, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to blend it all in and then make sure I use my Beauty Blender to just further blend it and make sure that it just tones everything down. So for these lips, my signature look, this is what I always do. I use like a dark brown lip liner. You guys always ask me about this. So I just use any random dark lip liner. And then I use the NYX um, Duo thing. Can't remember what it's called in Cookies and Cream. I don't always use this lip color, but sometimes I do. And then I use two lip glosses. This is like a sparkly pink. And then I also go in with a clear um, one on top of it and I love this lip combo. It's everything to me and I don't know. I'm just in love. What do you guys think? So I forgot to do my lashes. I'm just gonna get my bottom lashes and then I'm good to go and that is the finished makeup look Onto my hair. I'm just gonna take it out of the hair tie or the scarf and just fluff it out My hair was in a previous wash and go with diva curl products. If you guys want me to do a wash and go with those products let me know because they are freaking bomb. So I'm just going to fluff out my hair and get my edges with the Curls Blueberry Bliss Control Paste, which is forever my favorite. So I'm just going to lay my edges down and that completes my hair and on to the outfit of the day. So this is my final look. Of course, you can dress it up with some heels or dress casual with some sneakers. So my shirt and my jeans are from Fashion Nova. My bag is from Aldo. My shoes are Converse's and my earrings are from Forever 21. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment if you did. And I'll see you guys all in my next one. Mwah.